Hey, what is up guys? My name is Nort, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about what some of you may be happy about, maybe annoyed about, maybe kind of just upset about, but this is... I say this all the time, but this looks like it's the end of Lizard Squad because they have pretty much all been arrested, raided, they posted up pictures, we got proof, there's trending topics going around, and it's all blowing up just over the past few minutes, so I decided to round it up in, in one video. So if you do enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more Grand Theft Auto 5 content every single day. But with that said, let's get into this video. So first off, I just want to mention I'm going to be releasing tons of pictures from their tweets, which may or may not still be up on their Twitter, from various Lizard Squad members, including including the official Lizard Mafia page. Now, these are some of the tweets which I'll be putting up. As you can see, they all involve some sort of theory of them being raided or some sort of conclusion that they're going to jail or some sort of trends which they are trying to get around after Lizard Squad members have been jailed or raided or at least given court hearings. So, if you're wondering who Lizard Squad are, they are the people who are behind the attacks on PSN and Xbox Live mainly and they've also been behind tons of attacks to do with individual game developers. Developers. However, over the past few days, some of the core Lizard Squad members have finally been arrested, and it's something which we all kind of knew would come to them one day. However, interestingly enough, these Lizard Squad members haven't actually been arrested or charged for hacking and all of that whatnot. They have in fact been charged for distribution of child pornography and credit cards, which the credit card one we can kind of understand, uh, but the child pornography, that's a little bit strange and out of the criteria of what we believe they were doing. However, these are only just things they have been charged with. They have not been convicted guilty yet. They are currently just given a court hearing and some of them are still held in custody. For example, one good person to look at is GDK Geordie. He is one person who has has probably the most controversial rants on his Twitter page out of all of the open Lizard Squad members. Now, GDK Geordie was what thought to be one of the core members behind Lizard Squad as to where his positioning was with Lizard Squad, nobody really knows. However, as you can see here, he says, Bye, I love you all. The police want me in. If I don't tweet within five hours, I'm arrested. And then just after that, he retweets something from Lizard Mafia saying, Hashtag free Geordie, free Ryan, and free Vinny. Now, Vinny is the person who is associated with security teams against hacking and stuff and he was also shown in a Sky News interview uh, just talking about how everything goes down and he's basically the guy engaged with the community. Now this person has also been taken in as part of the Lizard Squad even though he tweeted out that he had no part of it at all, he was simply just reporting on the download, maybe he had contact with them, maybe he came associated with them at some point but he is at no point, uh, according to his tweets and sources, part of the Lizard Squad hack and anything like that. However, he is still given a court hearing as to why I don't really know. I don't really know how he became associated with them, but all I know is that he was caught in an interview and he was also followed by Lizard Mafia and he became very suspicious to the police and was raided at some time around half seven in the morning today. Now, also, Ryan, he is the person who is allegedly the face of Lizard Squad. Now, if you remember on that Sky interview, which happened a few days ago, they did an interview with someone who had a very fair hair and fair skin, and he was talking about why they did it, and who were the victims and all that stuff, and their motives. He has also been raided according to the Lizard Mafia, and also GDK Geordie, the person who is the most open up person on Lizard Squad over Twitter, has also been raided. Now, they have posted up pictures of all of these riot vans, and all of the police, and their court hearings, and everything like that, and what they have been charged with as well. And I just find it very interesting, they have been charged for child pornography, because that is something really strange, which I would not expect from them. However, that's just how the process works, I guess. I mean, that may maybe yeah, there's some sort of affiliation with it, but all I can say is that Lizard Squad are probably going to go down for a long, long time. Maybe they can get themselves out on bail because, of course, they do have over $300,000 worth of mega vouchers from Kim.com, so they can use that to bail out themselves or at least some of their members. So, of course, not all of them are going to be going away, but they've definitely taken a huge blow over the past few days. Now, of course, the whole 
whole Lizard Squad news has kind of gone down a little bit, and some of you guys may have known one or two members have been raided or arrested. However, all I can say now is that three members and more are getting raided, and three members have already been arrested and charged with court hearings, so I would love to see what goes on in the future. But like I said, I will always update you with the major information going on with Lizard Squad because they have become a huge part of the gaming community recently as they have been hacking and taking down servers affiliated most likely with Xbox Live and PlayStation Network and also individual game developers. They've also been taking down Steam, they've also been charged with distributing credit cards, they've been charged with taking down a ton of servers and now most of them are finally being caught and arrested. I think it's a good thing because I did not like their motives in the end. At the start, people could kind of understand why they were doing it, but then it got a bit out of control. They were just raising awareness, and in my eyes, they stopped when they got that $300,000 worth of voucher. So in my eyes, they are definitely doing this for their own personal gain, to raise awareness for their social profiles, to get themselves money. And of course, yes, some of them may have their motives, but at the end of it, if you overall sum up exactly what they have done, all I can see is that they've hacked and taken down servers and stopped when they're given a huge pile of money or at least what is equivalent to a huge pile of money at the end so their motives are definitely on the money side in my eyes however I cannot confirm what they're doing I cannot confirm why they're doing it that is just from what I can see and of course everyone is entitled to their own opinion but I would love to know your thoughts about this in the comment section below I do not support anything they are doing and I for one am glad they have been caught and uh, I want to see where this goes so let me know what you think in the comment section below I'll try and find some of their Twitter profiles and post them in the description below so you guys can go check come out for yourself but guys i hope you do enjoy this video my name is naught don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more grand theft auto 5 content every single day but my name is naught and you guys rock